guys, welcome to my new video about Wix Studio, and today I'll show you how to add and customize a slideshow repeater in Wix Studio without any code. Let's see how it works. Okay guys, open Wix Studio. Let's change the color of the background first. Now go to Add Elements. Click Layout Tools, Slideshow Repeater, and choose one to start with. Stretch it. And remove all the elements inside. Now our item doesn't contain anything. Let's change the background color. And now we'll be customizing our arrow icons. Choose one of them and scroll down. Here you can adjust the size and color of your icon. Click settings and change it. In Wix Studio you will find a huge collection of icons. You can add your own icons as well. Let's choose one of the options and click Choose File. Resize it to 200 pixels. Repeat the same steps with the other one. Change the size and color and the icon. Resize it. Rotate it to 180 degrees. Click on your arrow and choose Place to Container. Rename it for convenience. Repeat the same steps with the right arrow. Go to Add Elements and choose a container, and add it to the arrow container. Stretch it. Remove the background, scroll down and choose border. Adjust color and width. Go to corners and round them. Rename it and move backwards. Repeat the same steps with the second arrow. Add a container. Remove the background. Adjust borders and corners. Now let's adjust the position of our arrow containers. Go to Add Elements and add a title. Here you can adjust your text as you wish. Change its color, size, font, and so on. Add a paragraph now. Adjust your text. Select your text by pressing shift and click stack. Go to add elements and choose a button. Resize it. By the way, remember that it's a repeater and all the information will be automatically duplicated in other slides as well. Okay. Adjust your button as you wish. Click Settings to change the text. Let's only add a bottom border for this one. OK, choose our elements and click Stack. Now go to Add Elements and choose an image. Stretch it. Click Change Image. Choose the background image and click Update. Add the next one. Resize it. And choose the blur image. Add your bike. Resize it. Choose the bike image. Move the stack text forwards. Add the last one. Stretch it. And choose the gradient image. Check the sequence of the layers. Stack, gradient image, bike image, blur image, and the background image. Now we need to adjust the other slides. Go to layers and choose the next item. As you can see, it repeated all the elements. Now we need to replace all the images and text. Click on the first image and change it to the gradient one, same as in the previous item. Choose the next image and replace it with the bike image. 
choose the image for the second slide. Select the third image and replace it with the blur one. And replacing the last one with the background image. Change your texts. And the button text. Repeat the same steps with the third slide. Choose the third item and change all the elements, same as we did with the second one. Now all our slides are done and we can move on to the next step. But before moving on to the animation, let's choose our navigation button first and remove all the hover settings. Repeat the same steps with the second navigation button. Okay. Now let's add our animation. Click Layers and choose the right arrow. Go to Animation and Effects. Click Hover. Change the animated element to the round container. Choose the Expand animation and adjust it. Great. Repeat the same steps with the left arrow. Choose the bike image, go to animation and effects. Click mouse effects. Choose the track animation and adjust it. And add the animation for the blur image. Click mouse effects. Choose the blob animation and adjust it. Since it's a repeater, our animations will be automatically added to the other slides as well. All done, check the result. If you like my videos and don't want to miss new tutorials, click like and subscribe. As usual, I'm leaving all the resources in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.